better hold on to this. It'll help you if you feel like fidgety or like feeling distracted. Okay. I know life can be so overwhelming, but remember that I'm here with you every step of the way, okay? Your journey is unique and all of your efforts are meaningful. So, how can I help you? You want to get organized? Start writing down your tasks, okay? Let's do it. So let's first start with taking a deep breath. You're gonna take a deep breath with me, okay? Let's do it, baby. So inhale, four counts each. And feel free to repeat these breathing exercises every time you need, okay, my love? So let's first start with tidying up your space. I'm going to show you ways that you can just like keep everything clean and organized so that everything has a place. I know you have trouble kind of like with organization, but that's because when you're not organized, things don't have a place to go. So when you're trying to clean and when you're trying to get organized, you don't know where to put it because they don't have a place. So let's give every single thing here a little place to live. And that way it's going to be easier for you to organize it next time, okay? So you know how I am. I love organization. I have my color pens here so that we can color code everything. I have markers. I have your notebook right here so that I can write down about everything you need to do. And I also have my binder. Isn't it cute? And in here I have made calendars these calendars are going to be actually for the both of us so that we can both follow them and they're going to be on my desk over there whatever you need it at the top okay so let's take it let's write down what you need to do uh for next week uh, let's just take it one step at a time okay one task completed, that's already a victory and a testament to your resilience. So all you need to do is take it step by step, just complete one task at a time, okay? And once you complete one task, that's going to give you the motivation to keep going and I'm going to help keep you on track, okay? So let's start by writing some stuff on the calendar that I know just like important dates that are coming up and things like that that we both need to do these are things that we both need to do and then on your notebook is things that you need to do okay color and I know you also like blue so let's do it. I'm gonna start with October because we are in October right now. There's nothing written down yet because I wanted to have it clean and ready for you. Alright so let's see. 
I know that the 31st we have Halloween. And we are going to, where did we say we were going? Okay, perfect. So that's written down October 20th, uh, 31st. Yep. And then I know that um, Chris's birthday is November 8th, right? Which is a Wednesday, so we're celebrating on Friday, which is the 10th, right? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go in with this blue pen because Chris is your friend, so Chris's birthday party and we are going to his house and after that we're going to okay so house at when did he say like four yeah so let's try to get that right like 4 30 and then after um i believe we're gonna ride with danny right okay so ride with danny to the other thing and that's gonna be by like 7 30 after we had a little something to eat and then i know november 21st i have that interview i told you about at 10 yeah so um did you want to come with me or no okay you're staying at home so i'm just gonna write it down with my pink pen so that you know it's me um interview so i'm gonna be out of here by like 9 15 because it's a little far and then maybe we can come back and get brunch because i know you're not working that day too right okay so i'm gonna write brunch and of course i'll so I'm gonna ride brunch by like, what, 12.30? I think I'll be back. Yeah, it shouldn't take that long because it's only like the, the little, like the first interview. Okay. So that's all we have for, no for November. Nothing big, nothing major, two days. And then, so December 8th, we have an appointment at the dealership for a car. Um, to fix that recall of that letter that they sent you about and I believe it's at 8 so do you want me to go with you? of course my love so I'm just gonna write it down here and I think we should leave at like 7.30 it's not that far but maybe we should be there a little bit earlier yeah alright so that is December 8th it's a Friday and then let me see Um, yeah, I don't think we have anything else in December except for Christmas, so I'm gonna write it in a red pen, why not? So, we said that the 24th we were going over to your house with your family, and then the 25th we're gonna come back to our house and just have like a little, a little, um, our sexy Christmas, right? Okay, perfect, so I'm just gonna write the 24th to your house, and what time do you wanna be there, like 2? Okay, so 2 p.m. And then we can come back late, whatever, it doesn't matter, I don't really care. And then 25th, so Christmas. I'm so excited for you to see what I got you for Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas. I love giving gifts, you know that. just three months left not even two because it's october 20th right now but yeah so hopefully this will help you remember that if you don't remember what we have on a certain date or you just want to check the calendar and of course um next year we'll start having like a real calendar i'll put it on the wall and everything i just didn't want to get that because there's only two months left of this year 
but I hope this helps you remember certain dates and whatnot and then we can write down your friends birthdays your family members birthdays because I know you have a little bit of trouble remember them so you can just write it down and maybe you'll memorize them who knows okay how are you feeling so far are you okay, okay. so tomorrow's a new day fresh start I'll be right here cheering you on but just remember that every new day is a new possibility okay whatever happened yesterday that's in the past and if you didn't get to accomplish something yesterday or you felt lazy or you felt a little like icky that's totally fine it's completely normal to feel that way some days some days I don't feel motivated some days I want to do something and I end up doing something else that's maybe better even productive so don't put yourself down for things that you're not doing bring yourself up for things that you are doing okay. and of course I'm here to help you all right my love so let's write down some tasks that you want to accomplish next week some goals whatever comes to your mind um, we're just gonna kind of look at the big picture right now and then break it down in little parts so that you can achieve little tasks step by step and that will lead you to accomplish a bigger goal okay that's how I do it at least so let's give it a whirl Clean, clean page. Let's see. Okay. Alright. So I remember you saying that you wanted to be able to do some chores, like putting your clothes away or maybe washing dishes because sometimes you're like oh i'll just do it later you don't really want to do it unless you have like uh, some pressure on you so that's one thing chores i'm gonna just put like general chores around the house okay And so maybe what I can do is you tell me that you want to wash the dishes or you want to do a certain thing and then I can remind you a lot <laughs> until you do it. Is that okay with you or would that make you like a little bit uncomfortable? Okay. So, just, okay, cool. And then our oh, grocery shopping is a big one. So yeah that i will also just like remind you maybe we can do it together so that you feel like it's kind of like an activity between both of us okay and that will make you feel less lazy or less like you don't want to do it yeah and then i do know that you wanted to do morning walks afternoon stretches and uh evening workouts yeah all right, so morning walk, afternoon stretches, and evening workouts. So for this one, because we both kind of wake up at around the same time, I think maybe we should have like a set morning routine that we both do. And it can be different things, but we are both like up and running by that time and then we can both take our morning walk together while we drink coffee would you love that okay my love that sounds good so that way like maybe if you see me do it um it'll give you like the motivation to do it also yeah okay and then obviously we already work out together which is awesome um i know you have a little bit of trouble not working out if i'm not there just because you don't feel as motivated at 
to do it which is completely understandable but um maybe after we do work out we can reward ourselves with some dinner or maybe some dessert that we both cook together does that sound good okay perfect so yeah it's all about rewarding your body about of the of the successes that you do achieve all right baby so what's another big one hydration reminders yes so hydration reminders maybe we could just um set up reminders on your phone or an alarm and what i do when i take my medication is that i never uh stop because you know how you can like snooze so i never stop it until i actually take the medication and that way the alarm will annoy me to the point where i remember to take my medication so maybe you should try that out if you want after this we can set up the alarms on your phone yeah perfect and of course you can set it to like every day and whatnot you know you know how to use an iphone <laughs> Oh, so yeah, journaling time. Um, so I think this one can be part of our morning routine. Would you be okay with that? Okay, perfect. I love that you're getting into journaling because, um, I guess I also thought it was like a stupid thing before or maybe just like a waste of time. But I found out that even when I wake up, um, and I used to like play music to you know just like get hype for the day um, I stopped playing music because I feel like you know to create and to just have like clarity I just need peace of and quiet basically so I decided to start being just like along with my thoughts in the morning and this has helped me a lot to like um get clarity in my brain have new ideas be more creative just sit alone in my thoughts and even though maybe journaling could be a part of it and you know we set up the little corner outside with our our chair our little poof chair so we can sit out there maybe like after the morning walk after yeah all right so we'll do the journaling in the morning i'm just gonna write that down Okay, baby, and then I guess the only one that I can think of is doing laundry. Um, I know that, for example, I would get dopamine out of uh, completing a task, but for you, it's more um, like annoying or like an inconvenience. So, I don't know, maybe we can just do both do laundry together, or what do you think? What would you like to do with that? Okay, so do it together just like remind you yeah because i know sometimes you run out of underwear and it's cute but it's not cute <laughs> okay perfect so i'm just gonna go in and use my markers so just so that i can you know highlight the most important ones I do want to say that I'm really proud of you for sitting with me and kind of going over um, your ADHD and how we can help you just complete tasks, you know? Like, I know you sometimes feel like you're alone or maybe misunderstood or maybe that um, people think you're lazy um, when in reality, it's something you can't control and, you know, whether it's ADHD or anything else, it's completely normal to not feel motivated. It's completely normal to see a, a chore and be like, ugh, ew, don't want to do it right now. But I'm really proud of you for sitting with me. This is the first step for you to like kind of, or for both of us to kind of get our lives together now that we're living together. And it's going to be amazing. I'm going to be here with you every step of the way i already told you and i really don't mind like i love organizing so i think it's perfect that we're kind of like balancing each other you know you make me more chill and i make you more strict so yeah just wanted to say i'm really proud of you and let's see so which color should we begin with you want to just start from left to right okay 
it's all about celebrating those small victories you know so let me see just gonna color code each thing so yeah i think that one can be orange and so write it with orange pen And remember when you feel like a little bit of chaos in your mind, just just know that I'm here. Just know that you are a sea of tranquility and everything is going to be okay, you know? Just talk to me. I'm here. I understand. I, or at least I try to be understanding. And yeah, um... you are organized you are prepared prepared is a big one and you are in control of your environment okay oh i forgot to highlight it so this one's going to be purple perfect yeah so just knowing that you are the one in control of your mind your brain does not control you you control it okay you just have to remind yourself of that and it's okay to kind of in the moment when you're like freaking out or maybe thinking that ugh, i don't want to do that just come back to yourself take accountability in yourself that i do this all the time i have to check myself so just know that and also that adhd is a huge source of creativity so Maybe when we're both sitting and we're both working, getting our shit done, just, you know, I'll remind you that it's actually a strength and not a bad thing. So, I hope that this helped you a little bit, kind of get organized. Everything's gonna be here on your desk, everything, the calendar's gonna be on mine, so you can grab it any moment and anytime you need help, my love, I am here for you. I'm here to support you always. I love you so much too. Yes, why don't we go work out now? That sounds amazing. And don't forget to hydrate.